Section 2-3 Histograms. The idea here is to visualize the shape of our distribution. A histogram is a graph made of bars with equal widths drawn right next to each other. The horizontal scale represents the classes of the quantitative data values and the vertical scale represents the frequencies or the counts. The height of the bar corresponds to the frequencies or counts. In our example where we had the IQ scores from children, we can look at the values that we found for our boundaries that would separate each of these classes and then the heights of these bars would represent the frequencies for each of those classes. So basically a histogram is, direct, is a direct translation of your frequency table. A relative frequency histogram would look like the same if you're if you're talking about the same data set using the same classes. The big difference is that your vertical scale is being represented with percentages instead of counts. The idea isn't just to construct a histogram, but to look at the histogram and try to imagine what the shape, what the center, and what the spread might be. So we are interested in normal distribution or the bell shape. And if we have low values on the ends and a bunch of high values in the middle, then we can say that we have a roughly symmetric shape. Our example produced something like that. The shape seems like it could be symmetric or bell-shaped. The center might be around 90. The spread might be between 90 and 110. There might be some outliers over here, but it looks like the data set seems pretty connected, so maybe there are no outliers. So we can get a lot more precise in defining outliers. Not all of our data will be bell-shaped. In some cases, we will have distributions that are skewed. A skewed distribution will have a longer tail on one side. A data set that's skewed to the right will have a longer tail on the right side. Conversely, the skewed to the left will have a longer tail on the left. So here are four graphs. We can try to figure out the general shape of the, each of these graphs. The first one has a high peak and it goes low on both sides pretty evenly. So I would say this is symmetric or bell shaped. Our next example has a graph that has a 
fairly uniform distribution. So when we see something like this, where there are no real peaks, we call it a uniform distribution. Our third example has a peak on the left side and then a tail on the right. We would call this a right skewed graph. And then the last one has a peak on the right side and then the tail is on the left. So this is left skewed or skewed to the left. That's the end of our section 2-3.